The current El Nino is forecast to have big impacts this winter. Mike Halpert, Deputy Director of NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, gives us their latest thoughts. The driver of this year's winter outlook is El Nino, the strongest we've seen since the 1997-98 event and arguably among the three strongest we've seen since 1950. And although sometimes the outcome of strong El Ninos can sound foreboding, Mike says... El Nino is often a positive for the U.S., contributing to beneficial rains across the south and a milder than average winter in the north. And for the winter outlook beyond the normal precipitation and temperature forecasts, Mike comments on the possibility of severe weather to watch out for this winter. For example, tornadoes. Oftentimes the configuration that we see in, in, the, in the circulation in the jet stream does lead to maybe a, a severe outbreak or two at some point during the winter. So that risk is certainly elevated this year over, uh, over a more typical type winter. And for the likelihood of flooding and landslides in California, Mike has this caution. History has shown that with the, these couple of real big El Ninos, we have seen very big storms. Uh, we've seen, you know, a lot of landslides and floods. You know, that could be a, something that, that turns out this winter is that while we're still dealing with severe drought in California, we'll be also dealing with flooding at the same time, and that's certainly not unheard of. So the takeaway for all of us here, well, depending on where we live in this expansive country, we can use this outlook to prepare for what may be a warmer, wetter, colder, drier than average winter, with a greater possibility of dangerous severe weather in the Deep South and the potential for flooding and landslides in California, even as the drought persists. The big lesson, always stay weather aware. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.